Right, well, I've uh, got all the parts out of the box and just laid the box down. This uh, water tower kit is made by In the Greenwood. Now, when I saw this kit, I thought it's ideal. The only problem is, with my layout, my fiddly odd being so big, I wanted a, a larger water tank. So I got in touch with Dave at the company and said, could you make the water tank twice the size? And he obliged by doing that. So if you look at the picture, then you look at that, you'll see that the water tank will actually be twice the size. There's all the parts laid out. So it should be a pretty simple build really. The instructions are quite good. I've just read through them to make sure I get everything in the right place. It's just one page so I'll make a start. Now the first part is to fit these windows and the door in, into these frames. But you can put the windows and the doors wherever you want them. So I thought I'd have a door at one end. Now obviously with it being on the layout you won't see one side. So I thought I'd have two windows on the side you could see. One on the back and the door on the other side. But we'll see how we go. Right, I'm just using a, a wood glue. If I get the nail out the top. I think it's a PVA based one. Right, so that's the first one, it's simple as that. I've got some clothes tapes here just to help it bond. Oh, I'm moving it. I won't show you every one anyway. I'll just show you as so we go through the stages. Right, I've left these to dry for about an hour. So going by the instructions, the next part is to join all the sides up. And it also says why are you doing this? To fit the crumbs cross members while the glue's still wet. hold it all square then hopefully oh well that's a disaster them together
Well, I think I'll leave that for five minutes. Just let the glue go off a bit. Right, well that's all the sides together. Now what I've done is I've wrapped a bit of sellotape around it and uh, using the square just so I get the 90 degree angles and that seems quite stable now. So now I can start dropping these cross members in. The detailing on this kit is excellent. I won't show you everyone, I'll bore you. Getting there, two more to go. I was thinking of painting this before I put it together, but again, I think it's so simple and I'll be able to get to everything. I'll probably just leave the water tank and paint that separately and fit that when it's all together. So there's those braces. So it says while the glue is still wet, soft and glue part pour in place. Dropping into the notches at the top of the parts too. Four. So this should be gaps a slot five which is it's two of these <coughs> so they'll obviously go in there like that So now just put the other four cross members in. I want to show you because it's obvious really. So that's it, that's the roof supports in. So that's the building done I think really, just the water tank to go on top. Right, so the next bit is to put this roof bit on here. We'll keep it all square. If we can line them up.
trying to seem to pull that one out. That's it. Well. So I'll leave that, I'll put a bit of weight on that and just see, but that should be square now, see. So I'll put a bit of weight on and just leave that to dry now. Right, it's now a, a day later. It, that wood glue seemed to take forever to dry, but finally she has set. It's very well built, actually. Not by me, I mean the actual design of the kit. Very solid. So now we come to the water tank. Fitting the water tank, I don't want to glue it to the tower base yet. I want to kind of like make it on the base so it fits, because it fits into these slots. So I can actually paint the water tower different than I can paint this. Right, so I'm going to uh, fit the side panels now. Just check they all uh, fit in. And which way they fit in. So I'll glue that in, like I say I don't really want to glue the bottom in, I just want to glue the sides. So i do that and we'll have a look. So what I'm using here is, uh, instead of using the wood glue which seems to take ages to dry, I'm using some Gorilla Glue. Right, I've put the glue on, so now it's just a matter of getting it all square. Now it does actually come with this thing that fits in the side. Just to check that it's square. Well, that looks pretty good. So I'll leave that to dry and we'll have a look at the next bit. Right, while that's setting, I'm going to um, put this top bit on. I don't want it right at the edge because. I could remove this if I do it right. That seems okay, but I think it will need gluing down because it's just bowing a bit. So again, I'll put this lid on, then I'll get some weights on it and Should stop it from moving. Right, so that's 
um, the water tank. Got a can of beans on there just to hold the top flat. There is also these window sills here, but I'm not going to put those on. I'm going to paint those and obviously paint the window frames. So the next job now is to put the sides on the water tank. Plus the edging strips and that should finish it off. So just the edging strip to put on now and then she's finished. So just the edging strip to put on now. If we can find the holes, there she is. I think she looks quite good, well very good. It, it, it's an excellent kit. Well made, well thought out. And I've now got a water tank big enough for my layout. So the next job will be painting it, but I'll leave that for another time. So there you go. So, put the can of beans back on top. And there she is. Okay, I'll leave it there. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get it painted and uh, see how she looks. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Hopefully she'll be painted by then. Bye for now.